Gonzo and his friend Duke are heading out to San Diego on a road trip. From Gonzo's front door to downtown San Diego, the trip is 520 miles. We want to answer the following questions based upon this situation. We want to use the relationship distance equals rate times time, or the equation d equals r times t, to find a rational function t of r that has the rate of travel r in miles per hour as its input and the time of travel in hours as its output. And we'll do this step by step. Number one, we're asked to solve the equation d equals r times t for t. So if we want to solve d equals r times t for t, we'd need to divide both sides by r. Notice when we do this, we get d divided by r equals t. Or if we want t equals d divided by r. So the new equation is t equals d divided by r. And number two, we're asked to write a new equation as a function where little t is equal to big T of r and d equals 520. So if t equals the function t of r, we'd have big T of r, it's already given, equals, again, d divided by r, but we're given d equals 520, so our function t of r is 520 divided by r. Next, we're asked to determine the driving time to reach San Diego if Gonzo and Duke drive 75 miles per hour, and we're asked to round to one decimal place. Well, if they're driving 75 miles per hour, we're given r equals 75, and therefore, in order to find the time, we want to determine the function value t of 75. Well, t of 75 is equal to 520 divided by the input r, which we now know is 75. And now we'll go to the calculator to get a decimal approximation to one decimal place. So 520 divided by 75 would be approximately 6.9, which means if Gonzo and Duke drive 75 miles per hour, the driving time for the trip will be about 6.9 hours. Let's go to our next question. Now we're told if it takes Gonzo and Duke 6.5 hours of driving time to reach San Diego, determine how fast they drove. So notice that the 6.5 hours is the function value t of r. So we're given t of r equals 6.5, and we want to find r, the driving rate in miles per hour. Let's go ahead and work this out below. We'll have to substitute 6.5 for t of r and solve for r. That'll give us the equation 6.5 equals 520 divided by r. So to solve this equation for r, we'll clear the denominator, or clear the fraction, by multiplying both sides by r. So on the left side we have 6.5r equals, on the right side, notice how r over r simplifies the one, so we just have 520. So the last step, we divide both sides by 6.5 to determine the rate in miles per hour. So we have r equals, again, 520 divided by 6.5, which equals 80. So when the input r equals 80, the output or function value is 6.5, which means if it takes Gonzo and Duke 6.5 hours of driving time to reach San Diego, they drove about 80 miles per hour. And now we have one more question. We're asked to give the equation of the vertical asymptote of our function t of r. A vertical asymptote is a vertical line that a graph approaches but never crosses. To determine the equation of the vertical asymptote, we set the denominator of our rational function equal to zero. So notice in this case it would just be r equals zero. And because r is not also a factor in the numerator, this is the equation of a vertical asymptote. If there was a factor of r in the numerator, and there was a common factor of r, we'd actually have a hole at r equals zero, not a vertical asymptote. Of course, we can also verify this by looking at the graph of our function, which I've already graphed here. Notice how r equals zero is the equation of the vertical axis here. And notice how the function does approach this vertical line, but does not cross it.
So this would be the equation of a vertical asymptote. And now we're asked to complete a sentence to explain the significance of the vertical asymptote. Let's interpret this by looking at the graph. The horizontal axis gives us the rate in miles per hour, and the vertical axis gives the time in hours. Notice as the rate in miles per hour approaches zero, or approaches that vertical asymptote, the function values increase to that bound or approach positive infinity. Which means as the rate approaches zero miles per hour, the travel time approaches infinity or increases without bound. So we'll say as the rate of travel approaches zero or zero miles per hour, the travel time increases without bound or we could also say approaches positive infinity. I hope you found this helpful.